Stay off of social media if you're going through a divorce. Social media can wreck your divorce case. My name is Laura Hurd, and I'm an attorney who has practiced family law in San Antonio and surrounding areas for more than 34 years. There are many, many reasons to stay away from social media while you're in the middle of a divorce. And here are just a few examples. I had a client whose husband was having an affair while he was in the military overseas. He was communicating with his lover by Snapchat, so he thought he was safe. But he didn't know that my client's friend back here in the States was monitoring those conversations and taking screenshots. He denied that that affair happened until we produced screenshots of those conversations and that case was over real fast. He settled immediately when he saw that we had evidence of what he had posted to Snapchat. Secondly, a divorce is a very emotional time. There are gonna be things said in court that upset you greatly. Things from your spouse lying or things like what the opposing counsel or the judge may say that you think is totally unfair. You do not want to post your opinion or your feelings on social media. And even though what you think is true and justified, it can make you look really bad in court, or you could be sued for slander. Did you know that even emojis can be used as evidence? You don't have to say a word to be sued for slander on social media because of the emojis that you post. And you have no control over what other people's comments might be to your posts. And those comments can hurt you. So what do you do? Can you erase or delete your social media posts? No, because that would be considered a destruction of evidence, and that is a crime. You can be prosecuted for criminal activity for deleting your own social media posts while divorce is pending. So the best you can do is don't make it worse by continuing to post to social media. You may be able to go into settings and make your account inactive or change your privacy settings but if the other side requests it in discovery, you're going to have to turn over the history of your social media posts. So if you think that this video will help a friend of yours who is in the middle of a divorce, please share it. And I will be posting other videos to discuss this subject later. But if you need help with a divorce, call me, Laura D. Heard, and my website is www.ldherd.com.